So this one is opposite compound. So here we go. I pulled these off last week right here. I break this off, and there is a round bud sitting right above where the leaf came off. And if you look as hard as you can, like in here, you, there's, there's just nothing there. There's no bud there. So that is a leaf, compound leaf. Opposite buds, and they're all next to each other on the twig. Another good ash feature is look at this, uh, this bud. It's described by most people as looking like brown leather. The bud scales, the coverings of like suede brown leather. Pretty prominent. This is known as a stout twig. It's almost like your little finger. That's that's a one-year-old, that's a twig. So that's a big fat twig. So opposite fat twig, that could be another thing that you use. It's one of the stoutest twigs you'll get all semester. There's, there's a couple of them. Does anybody see opposite branches anywhere? It won't be perfect every time. It's gone now. But if you see opposite branches anywhere, the only way they got there were opposite buds. It can't happen any other way. So they definitely won't be everywhere. You'll just see them in spots. And then later down, well, you might see them. There's a pair there. But then there, oh, there, now there's just one. The bud dies or the twig later dies and the twig breaks off. So if you look okay, so here's another ash. Here's a medium. So look here, first part kind of smooth. This little stem here. Here it's starting to get distinct ridges and valleys on this one. And then this one, this is getting into what's known as real classic ash bark. It gets a very distinct weave back and forth, and it sort of forms little uh, football shapes or diamond shaped patterns in it. There and there. And people get to the point where just logs on a truck, they can tell, oh, that's ash, that's oak. And they look for that pattern, and they know they have, have ash bark. The fruit on this is called a Samara. Anybody ever heard that term before? A Samara. That's a winged seed. You know, maples get the helicopters, kind of famous, right? The flavor, right? This gets a helicopter, but it isn't curved like the ones you're used to seeing. They are straight. It kind of, to me, looks a bit like a broken canoe paddle. That's the blade. That's the canoe blade. And then the handle is busted off. It'll be up there. And let's see, maybe it'll even twirl. We'll see what happens. You ready? A little bit. They're old. They're rotted for a whole year. These are those leaf stems. These are, the, these are arachis. And there's actually two things here. This is ash, and this one, at the end there, where it's breaking, look how long that is. That's a walnut. Did you see how you can pick these up? Look at the difference in length. So walnut has a really big pot pattern, and that's the walnut right there. Ash is a really important timber tree. Uh, it's not so much a wildlife one, this one. I mean, things can eat those little seeds, but there's not as, that much in them. But it's a very uh, prized part and hardwood. Anybody know something Ash is used for? Kind of famous? Baseball hat. Yeah, baseball hat. Yeah, it's going to be favorite summertime baseball. Yeah. Bat, uh, most baseball bats are made out of uh, wood, of ash. Uh, and it's got kind of a problem that people are really... Uh, it's got people seriously alarmed. Have you heard of the emerald ash borer? It's a really big deal, and it's killing ash. And they, they think it might literally like make it almost vanish in the forest. Uh, it's, a, it's an insect that, again, is brought in. It's invasive. And uh, it, it's a great ornamental and native tree. But uh, And the ash borer is, uh, I just saw an updated thing. It's like all over Virginia. Like they're trying. It started in Michigan. It's there's programs, but it's not it's not really slowing at all. Like they run public service announcements. You ever heard like "Don't move your firewood uh, you know, for the trees in my neighborhood for my baseball bat"? Don't move. And every time I hear the commercial, I start start talking to the radio. Too late. Too late. It's everywhere. <laughs>